Salvador. What a nice stretch of days we've had, even though it's been a little cooler. It's been a little cooler, and every time we have a nice stretch, I get so nervous, Margaret, with there what's is coming reason. for the next stretch. <laughs> there is reason to be nervous, but right now the weather is great, and truthfully, it's looking great through the weekend. Hey, look out the window. We still have Nick's rolling right around Lee Circle. So here is a look at what's happening. It's beautiful out right now, mid to the upper 40s, and then in the metro area, we're in the low 50s. But look, there is a little bit of cloudiness moving in. It's all ahead of a cold front that's going to be pushing through overnight. You will notice a little bit of cloudiness as well over here towards the Texas Panhandle. What we have is an upper level low, and west of there, you'll see a little piece of energy dropping to the south. It's going to get wrapped up in this big upper level low and take its time moving to the northeast, and that's what's going to help with our rain chances going into late Monday and also for Fat Tuesday, but the timing may work out. I'll show you in just a moment. Here is a look at that cold front that's going to be pushing through. Tomorrow is going to be breezy. It's going to be cooler, but our highs today, we're in the upper 60s to the low 70s. That wind northeast, 10 to 20 miles per hour, high temperatures in the upper 50s. It's Friday morning. That's going to be really cold. For southwest Mississippi, you're dropping into the mid 20s. For the North Shore and the Mississippi Gulf Coast, you're in the upper 20s. So definitely protect pets, plants, pets. Uh, I said pets twice because they're, of course, very important. I think your pipes are okay. And then on the South Shore, looks like we'll have those lows, low 30s to the upper 30s. Going through the day, though, as we go into Friday, highs only in the low 50s. It's going to be chilly. But look at this for Saturday, highs mid 60s. We could even be a little bit warmer. But another cold front is going to move through, and that makes for cool weather as you go into Sunday. But look at these forecasts. For your Thursday, it's going to be cool. It's going to be breezy. Temperatures are going to be dropping into the 40s. You definitely need a coat. Then for Friday, Friday is going to be cold, upper 40s, but you're dropping into the mid-30s on the North Shore for Celine. Saturday, the weather looks great, and I'm parade tracking for Endymion. Now, this is what's interesting. Here's that little piece of energy. We get something dropping to the south. It picks it up and brings it to the east. So that's our rain chance. Here is a look at Monday. As we go into the evening, there is a slight chance of rain. Right now, it's a 30% chance. Looks like light rain. Then we're going into your Tuesday. This is the morning. So far, we're okay. It's going to be warm with that southerly flow. Here is a look at the afternoon. We're looking okay. And then here comes the cold front, the potential for thunderstorms, and the wind is going to blow as you go into Wednesday with gale force winds possible. Sunset today, Robert Karma. I mean, was that beautiful? Highs today, upper 60s, all across the area, really warm for this time of the year, and the weather was perfect for Nick's and for Druids. Thank you for those twit picks. Right now it's cool, mid 40s to the low to the mid 50s. So let's look at that exact cast. It's going to be chilly in the morning, mostly sunny and breezy. Here we are looking at Friday. It's going to be cold in the morning, frost possible Saturday morning, but looking beautiful for Valentine's Day. Then you can see that 50% chance of rain for Fat Tuesday, but it looks like late in the day right now. I'll keep you posted. Hi, Margaret.